lock the gates. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Saturday, December 16th. As you could see, I just kind of finished my little morning routine where I made my cup of coffee, turned on the Christmas lights, came outside to journal and write my to-do list. I have a lot that I need to get done today, especially because this is the last weekend that I'm going to be in Texas before I leave for quite a while on vacation for the holidays. So I did want to let you guys know or start off this video to tell you that there is not going to be a vlog next Thursday, December 28th. This is actually going to be my last vlog of 2017. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. So there will be one last video, which will go up on Christmas. Actually, it'll go up on Monday, December 25th. And that will be my last video vlog, my last thing going up on my YouTube channel for 2017. So this is the last vlog and then next Monday is the last video. And that's really because I am just finalizing everything for Valiance. I have so much to do. I want to really enjoy my vacation and I will be vlogging on my vacation, but that footage won't go up until 2018. But yeah, I really hope you guys can understand. I really wish that I could vlog for next week, but as you guys are seeing this on Thursday, I'm actually getting ready to leave in a couple of days to get on a plane to go to California and then I'm flying to Arizona and then I'll be flying back to Texas once we're finally in 2018. So because I'm going to be traveling and spending time with my family and I'm going to be on airplanes, it's just not feasible to get a vlog up on the 28th. But it is 7.30 in the morning. It's 47 degrees outside, which is why I'm wearing my onesie and I know I look pretty ridiculous and you can obviously tell I just... I just woke up. This is me, naturally. So I have like three things that I need to do for Valiance, updates I need to make to some of the modules. Last night, fortunately, I already uploaded my January 1st YouTube video, so that's done. I do need to run some errands. I need to go to Walmart because I need to buy more firewood because it's cold here. I need to buy more trash bags. And I need to buy more stuff to mop the floors with. Sorry, I keep having to adjust my little hood because it keeps falling down. I also need to create my newsletter for the month of December and a survey that I want to do about Valiant. So by the time you guys see this, that newsletter should have already gone out. And if you're not signed up for my newsletters, make sure you do that. You can do it on my website at kristenmartinbooks.com. There'll be a pop-up box as soon as you go to the site and you can just enter your email address. And my newsletters are sent once a month. I don't spam you. I really do not send that much email unless there's like a flash sale or a price promotion that I think you guys would benefit from. So definitely do that. I also need to make some doctor's appointments and kind of firm all of those up, you know, just like yearly checkup type stuff. I was really bad about that this year. So I need to do that. I need to package a few books. I got some orders for signed copies of my books. I'm also sending some fellow writers and some fellow author tubers some Christmas gifts. So I'm gonna package those up as well. So I do need to make a run to the post office, drop those packages off, and then also check my PO box. And then the last thing on my list, which may not happen today, is to make some Insta story and Snapchat content for Valiance and for some of the other sales and things that I have coming up. Eventually, I will kind of get ready and start my day, but I really just want to enjoy this beautiful weather and relax. So that is the plan right now. Okay, I ended up sitting outside a little bit longer than I originally thought because it's now nine o'clock in the morning. So I was out there for a little while, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and Kind of get ready. Ooh, that's bright. Just put a little bit of makeup on, kind of fill my eyebrows in because they, they just have a mind of their own. Then after that, I'm going to package up those books, look at my to-do list again because I know I just told you guys what I have to do and I've already kind of forgotten. So here we go. Ah, so not much better. <laughs> at least I don't look like a colon anymore, but you guys know on the weekends, try to do minimal makeup, also, I found this headband that I got, I swear it was probably while I was still in high school. Not even kidding. But I love it, it's got a little bow and it's got these little sequins on it, so I'm totally gonna rock it. And then I'm just wearing my workout clothes like I usually do, but I also am wearing my leg warmers because winter. And yes, I'm totally aware that I look like I just popped out of an 80s music video and I'm fine with it. Go get these books packaged. Oh, good lord. So, this is how I left the shipping room. For a brief moment, I thought that maybe Denali had gotten into something, but no. 
This is all me. You have claimed your space, haven't you? This is your office now. She's the boss, I just live here. I need to clean this up and organize it because if I don't, uh, I'm just not gonna be able to package this stuff. It was you! No, it wasn't, it was me. are all ready to go so I'm just looking at my to-do list to make sure that I have everything I need before I head out the door because I really just like to get all of my stops done in one go so I don't have to go back out later so my first stop will be the post office I'll drop those off I'll check my PO box see if there's anything in there and then I guess on my way back I'll pop into Walmart yeah and then other than that I'm able to come back home and start working on things for Valiance and also for my newsletter and getting that survey out there. To the post office we go. It is 11 o'clock, which is perfect because I'm hungry and that means it's lunch time. So I'm gonna make myself some lunch, but I wanna show you guys this food item that I've been really obsessed with and it's really not the best for you, but it's just so good. So it's this Rojo's five layer classic dip. So it's got refried beans, salsa, guacamole, which I kind of have to eat around because I am allergic to avocado, unfortunately. Sour cream and then real cheddar cheese. And then I just eat that with some Tostitos scoops and this lasts me for quite a while, but it's just such a good flavor. And they have it at Walmart, kind of in that front market section where they normally have the cheese and the salami and stuff. So I'm gonna munch on this because I'm not super hungry. And then maybe I'll make myself a salad or a wrap or something like that to offset this five layer dip. I did get some packages, some letters in my P.O. box. You hear a crackling in the background. It is the fire that I'm burning. So this is one of the boxes. Hi! Oh. So the first one is a familiar name. It's from Lindsay in South Carolina. It's a holiday card. Oh, Lindsay, you are so sweet. Thank you so much for sending me this holiday card. I love it. All right, next is a letter from Brittany in Illinois. Oh, Brittany, thank you so much for taking the time to write me. I know you asked some questions in here, so I will make sure to write you back so I can answer those. Okay, this is from, I have to look at the box at the return address. This is from Kathy in Illinois. Another Christmas card. Ooh, it says, thought these were perfect to add to your bookshelf, and she's giving me permission to open them early. Ah, how cute is this wrapping paper? Let's see, let's see. Oh, I love this. It's a girl boss mug. This is so awesome. Thank you so much, Kathy. I do not have a girl boss mug, and this just makes me feel so cool. I have my new favorite mug that I'm gonna be drinking my coffee and my tea out of every day. There's also a second package in here. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. It's this block that has different cities and places on it. So New York, London, Rome, Hong Kong, Sydney, Paris. This is so cool. I'm so excited to put this on my bookshelf. It's gonna look so good. Thank you so much, Kathy. I love these gifts. And I'm excited to put this on my bookshelf. I know this will get a lot of use. I'm gonna go find a place for this on my bookshelf. 
and I think I'm going to put it on London because London has been on my mind lately. If you're old-fashioned like me and like to receive snail mail and you like to send letters and cards, then just know that I do have a P.O. box. It's always in the description box below. It's P.O. Box 1879, Montgomery, Texas, 77356. So I put it on this shelf because, well, this is the shelf where all of my books are and a lot of the books that I love are also on this shelf. So I think that looks really nice. Oh, I love it. So I got a little caught up doing some Valiant stuff and it's now 4.30 in the afternoon. This one is really impatient and we're gonna go for a W-A-L-K -okay. and she knows because you've been so good letting me work. You wanna go for a walk? <gasps> yeah? What you think? Tell me, you wanna go for a walk? Tell me. Oh, okay, let's go for a walk. Let's go! We're going under, and there's nothing we can do. The final hour before we let it go to rest. It's such a heartbeat. I have spent so much money on firewood. <laughs> This season, it is not even funny. I can remember last year, I think I only bought one box of logs and it lasted me the whole entire season because it just was not cold last year. We didn't have chilly weather. It definitely didn't snow last year. Hi. Oh, how sweet. Oh, how sweet. I'm pretty sure I got a lot of footage today for this vlog because I uploaded some of it a little bit earlier and it said it was an hour long. So I know it looks really late here. It's really not that late. It's only seven o'clock. I just finished watching Christmas with the Cranks, which I love that movie. I totally forgot how great it is. The first time I watched it was last year. And I was like, this is such a good movie with such a good message. And I feel like no one ever talks about it. So I think I'm definitely going to add Christmas with the Cranks to my Christmas movie tradition list. So I think I'm actually going to pop in another Christmas movie. I've watched The Grinch and I've watched Christmas with the Cranks. I've watched Elf. Maybe I'll do Home Alone or A Charlie Brown Christmas. And I really wanna watch The Santa Claus, but I want that to be a little bit closer to Christmas, but who knows, maybe I'll just go ahead and watch that one. And then after that, I guess I'll take a bubble bath. I'll start winding down, maybe read a little bit, just kind of relax since I did have such a productive Saturday. And then tomorrow I'm going to kind of pick up where I left off with Valiance and work on that some more. Again, this is my last vlog for 2017. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I tried to cram a bunch of stuff in, try to make it super productive. So again, I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up to support my channel. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next vlog next year in 2018. Bye!